Hi everyone and welcome to part number three in this uh, project. So in the last episode we have learned or actually we have understood how the database structure actually is and in today's video we are going to kick things off. We are going to actually start developing our app and as you, you saw if you were one of those uh, who actually cloned the UI that I have linked in the last episode and it is all also actually available in the in the description of this video so you can clone the ui you will find that we only have four pages and you can see that it's not as simple as that but it is so you will see that when we're going to be developing the app so without any further ado let's get into it but just want to tell you the topic of today's video so we're going today we are going to be actually developing the find participants page uh, which is a page where we can find other users except the ones that we are we already have a chat with we're going to find new people to have a chat with or to engage with that's what we are going to be doing in today's video so if you are interested don't forget to smash that subscribe button to join the learn now community and also uh, you can turn on the bell icon so you'll be the first one to be notified when i post something new on this channel so with that out of the way let's get into it so before we started actually guys just make sure you add uh, a field called engaged with ids which is uh, the IDs of people that we are engaged with so it is just a document reference from the engaged with and sorry it is actually a list I have forgotten so I have added that it is a list because we are engaging with a list of people so let's check this error out it is uh, uh, yes we may want to actually remove this and just uh, remove it I have tried it and it wasn't actually working very well so now let's actually move on and start actually by uh, uh, just configuring the find participants which is uh, the objective of today's video right so guys what we are going to be doing is that uh, so here what we are going to be doing is that for this list view we want to see first the first thing that we, we want to do is a backend call we want to see all of those that you will, people so we want to see first all the users so all e everyone who is using the app we want to see him there right even us even those we are we have already engaged with just leave it as it is i will show you how you can do this so for the hello world we want to see the name of that user right for the image we want to go down and see just the photo url of the specific uh, user right so now we are good to go so the first thing uh, we to do is that uh, we don't want to see ourselves so if we were there there is no need to see ourselves because uh, actually we are one of the users then if we so let's say uh, this was the uh, this was a user that uh, was me this was the authentication user so we don't want to see that we I really so for that I will be using a condition visibility and what a condition visibility is is just uh, uh, you don't want to, you will not see that unless that condition you have put here is true so what is this so I w so what is this condition so what do you think is this condition so for me personally I s will say that if the 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 id or the reference of this user was not me if it was someone else then it can be shown there so let's do that let's add a, a single condition i will say that if the user id was not equal to mine if it was someone else if it was not equal to mine or to me uh, my own id then it is someone else if it was someone else then i can see it here so i will be seeing someone else i will so for this or or just thanks to this condition visibility we are going to be see, seeing ourselves not someone uh, we are going to be seeing actually someone else not ourselves right that is what is this condition actually means you can stop the video and watch it again if you don't understand so now for this the, the next thing that we need to do is that if a user so let's say we already have a conversation with jack and this was jack for example so we want to filter him out because we cannot have another conversation with the same person that we already have a conversation with so uh, to do that we are going to un so for this backend call we don't want it to check all of those users and show it to me here i want it to check all of the you all of the users and filter out those who uh, who are already engaging with me so we are going to be adding a filter here so uh, guys just if you don't know what a filter is a filter is something in front of flow that asks you this question so they're asking you what you want to, what you want to show what you want me to show you so i will say that i want people with an id that is not 
a part of uh, so I will see people who are not a part of this list if their document reference was not in this list then under this condition I want to see it there it's like conditional action uh, condition visibility sorry for that so uh, I can go here and I can edit actually uh, the backend query add a filter and here I should have added uh, a filter so what I can do is that just I want to filter them by ID I will use their ID to filter them out to take those who already belongs to me or to those who I am engaged with I want to take them out and keep those who are new to me right I will see that if the UID was not in in uh, this list in this list so we can uh, do this one and just take the ID we just want to take the document ID confirm confirm and then confirm right so guys what I have done here is that I said that if the user ID so if if a user has an ID right if that he's if his ID was not in the list of those that I'm already engaged with then under this condition it can be seen here so now we have two conditions the first one which is this one which is now we are filtered out those who are already who are already engaged with and we have actually used the condition visibility to filter ourselves out so now we are taking two types of people out of this backend query we are taking ourselves and we are taking also those that we are already engaged engaged with right so I hope that you have got the idea so now let's run a test a quick test we are going to test everything we are going to just we are going to see if we can see ourselves or not so let's just go and do it right now and just another thing that I want to do is that what this button has to do so if I click it on this button I want to add that user to my engaged with people so we want to do something so we want to first we want to actually open this up we want to create a document first we want to create a document for that specific user in our engaged with collection we want to create a document where you want to create that document we want to create inside the engaged with the engaged with is a sub collection but of uh, whom uh, we, are, we are actually uh, of who actually we want to take it we, of the authentication user we want to create a document in the engaged with collection that belongs to the user so we are going to be so that user that we have uh, that so if that was the user we are going to click here and that user was, will be added to this collection of the authentication user right so and after that we may want to actually add another action which is going to be updating the document and what what is has to do is we are going to be adding ourselves or our id to this list we are going to be doing so since we are uh, engaging with this guy so we are going to be adding his list or, or his id there so let's do that here so uh, it is a updated document uh, we are going to update the document of the authentication user and the field that we are going to be updating is going to be this one here we are just going to add to set what we are going to be adding to that set is the id so it is going to be the id of that user that we have clicked on right where it is this one it is the user's reference we can actually so we are going to be using that but we are going to have an error because i i have actually made a mistake sorry for that guys i said that the engaged with is a list of documents not in this collection it is in the users because those that i am engaged engaging with are users other users right so let me correct the, uh, the mistake so now i have just corrected uh, my mistake and now i can go back so uh, i can go here and now uh, i can now add to this set I can go down and can i can add the new user that i have clicked on now i can add it to that since it the user belongs to the users so that's it so now we once we click on this one we are going to be adding this we are going to be creating document here in this collection we are going to be have another 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 user that we are engaged with and we're also gonna add that to this list just to this list of document references so just that that is very simple so this is what this button is doing so now let's move on to test and let's see what we have so here i have just created the tree i have actually created three uh profiles so here we have leo 
and we have other two people we can click here and let's see if we can see them so the first thing so pay attention that we don't see a Leo so that condition visibility was working we, so we are taking ourselves out of those results we can see John and Jack so let's try to add John so we have added John and now we cannot see him because of this uh, of uh, of this guy so if, of uh, this uh, uh, filter that I have just shown you here so of this filter uh, is checking so this filter is taking out those that we are already engaged with it is taking out uh, checking them out of this uh, uh, out of, of out of this uh, uh, database or uh, backend query or, or whatever so that's what it is actually doing so we can engage with Jack and it, it is gone so we cannot engage with Jack uh, again so uh, it is not working I will be work, uh, making it work so so that is it for today's video so I try to make my videos short so you cannot get uh, overwhelmed and bored with the, what I do so guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you have actually enjoyed every single minute you have spent watching this video so if you don't then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share this with uh, your friends and family so we can help each other learn no coding no time and if you like my content then I really appreciate you support my work on coffee uh, it is in the first link in the description and also check the, U the UI of this app save yourself some time and check the UI is gonna be very fast just clone it so you can get started with me and follow along so with that out of the way thank you guys so much for watching and see you on the next one